Professor in charge of Chemical Engineering and Associate Dean Sponsored Research and Industry Consultancy from IIT Roorkee. Lovely audience and uh, uh, honorable uh, panel expert. Uh, uh, I would like to highlight a few of the projects uh, done in the IIT Roorkee, uh, though there are many more, but uh, uh, done during the last 168 years of history of IIT Roorkee and University of Roorkee. First one is from the Civil Engineering Department. It is the experimental and numerical investigation of the ballistic resistance of ductile target subject to oblique impact of sharp node uh, projectile. It is the impact of the um, uh, bullet uh, onto the uh, target. And um, this is actually a armor uh, piercing uh, incident API projectile. And this is the uh, perfor uh, perforation and failure mechanism of 20 millimeter thick our MOX 500T steel played by 12.7 API projectiles. Uh, first one is the um, uh, targeting the target, second one is the uh, hitting, then just the penetration and just after the blast. And also in these uh, slides, um, uh, angle of projection uh, 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 was investigated. And this is the perforation and failure mechanism of A87075 aluminium plate by 12. 7 API projectile again uh, targeting uh, the object uh, penetrations and the uh, blast um, uh, after the penetration at the point of penetrations. Uh, this is the perforation process of 20 millimeter thick target. Then it is the uh, deformed 8 millimeter thick plate hit by 7.62 API projectile at varying angle of obliquity. Both experiment and the theoretical uh, simulation was done and compared. Uh, obviously, with the uh, target angle uh, from say 0 uh, to 15 degree. And this is a mathematical equation uh, tested uh, uh, with the experimental result. And uh, this is trace, uh, uh, developed uh, by the pressurized equipment in the laboratory and uh, the deformation uh, tested. And this result uh, was used in the numerical uh, equations uh, uh, even at the various uh, uh, temperature okay this is uh, uh, it is the temperature and data have been uh, created uh, to validate the uh, mathematical uh, equations these uh, white uh, pictures uh, is the experimental result photograph and uh, colored photograph is the simulation result Com this is the comparison of experiments and numerical investigations Next one is the. Me, uh, could you highlight your the research yeah. areas and the capacity that you have available? That you have focused yeah, on that the is uh, specific. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, within 10 minutes, I'll uh, focus uh, whatever I have uh, accumulated here in this slide, right? And this is the missile impact or uh, on underground tunnel. Um, that is of the composite material uh, with the various layer and uh, for the impact of the missile and dimensions of the missiles have been given here and cylindrical uh, results have been given here uh, for the penetration depth of 1.84 meter and again this uh, uh, blast pressure have been calculated using numerical analysis and it is simulated here for the penetrations of the missile uh, through the various layer. And next one uh, uh, is the DRDO projects uh, given to the IIT Durki um, uh, in the Department of the Physics. Um, that is the heat transfer in investigation inside rectangular duct with matrix cooling. And uh, that is actually um, that one, no, uh, one solution is there uh, for the cooling purposes with the coolant gases. Different uh, um, layer has been identified with the different aspects and matrix cooling have been uh, proposed. Um, it is uh, um, better than pin uh, turbulator or the uh, turbulator and uh, wheel wind uh, method. Moreover, this matrix cooling gives the rigidity to the uh, turbine uh, systems uh, against its failure. Next one is the uh, study of heat shimmer removal uh, techniques for long range imaging system. Uh, and uh, uh, main goal was to restore a single high quality image from the observed sequence uh, with the specific uh, objectives. And uh, this is the results of already. Um, and uh, just to show you that uh, 
um, uh, that was the part of the uh, project. And this is the uh, dear view project um, given to the biotechnology department of IIT Durki. Three dimension number one is the three dimensional structure analysis of uh, alpha virus um, uh, capsid uh, protease, microbial degradation of toxic. Second one, aromatic compounds using structural biology approach. Third one um, is the evolution of antimicrobial ingredients of some Indian um, ethnomedicinal plants, mainly from outer Himalayan regions. Actually, it is the uh, target of the uh, E. coli uh, bacteria protein um, and the X-ray crystal structure uh, is given at the middle. And then with the inhibitors um, uh, to the protein structures uh, have been taken for the evolution of antiviral drug uh, testing. An outcome of the project is atomic structure of um, uh, capsid protease determined for structure based rational drug, uh, rational drug design and chikungunya virus protease assay from antiviral screening developed. Future proposal of that project is development and discovery of chikungunya virus drug. And next one is the target of, uh, 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 target of the microorganisms which can degrade the PCB pesticide tear gas. Actually enzyme is modified, meter one is the enzyme is modified to develop the bacterial strain and broad substrate specificity, more efficient in bioremediation, degradation of aromatic compounds. I am from the chemical engineering department. I use this uh, microbial strain, modified engineer strain in the continuous bioreactor for the degradation, complete degradations of the um, uh, polyaromatic uh, hydrocarbons as well as other um, uh, toxic material. Significance, aromatic compounds cause uh, cancer, immune disease, etc. using manufacture of chemical weapons. Publications are also there. Next one is the, there are number of plants in the Himalayan regions are that which has or have the capabilities um, um, uh, against the various um, um, microbes. Plant based therapeutic drugs, antimicrobial compounds, DRDO project, antimicrobial and antiviral compounds from medicinal plants in Himalayan region, Himalayan region plant difference protein and molecules, protease inhibitors, medicinal plants extracts gives these compound and I, these compounds are isolated and the, uh, then the, there is the evolution of antimicrobial activity. Uh, actually um, this is uh, done by the professor RPD and um, ca uh, are used um, again uh, like uh, it was said uh, that uh, chicken viral, uh, viral activity can be this type of uh, medicine can be used in uh, against the uh, viral uh, virus also. Yeah, there's a, yeah, against the bacteria. So, if you're interested, I can give you the list of the uh, uh, bacterial activity to be seized by this. Then the uh, Department of Physics was functional nanomaterial research uh, laboratory. There are these uh, equipments are there. Synthesis and characterization facilities funded by Ministry of Information Technology. This is DC and RF uh, magnetron uh, um, spectating a system, cryogenic free vibrating um, sample magnetometer with uh, um, uh, superconducting uh, magnet, uh, etc. And uh, this is uh, the, this uh, uh, the some of the important activities of the groups uh, are covered here in the uh, in these slides. That is nanostructured smart thin flame and multi-layer using magnetron sputtering, high temperature we are resistant um, super hard nan uh, nano composite coating with high hardness, sharp uh, memory thin flame heater structure for next generation army monitoring system, AIN based piezoelectric thin flames for energy harvesting applications, multi uh, thin flame for resistant uh, switching late free ferro electric, uh, electric thin flames, then surface modification of nanopotency using grain size refining and ion beam radiation, high temperature superconducting thin flames on devices. And then uh, we have the center f facilities in the institute, uh, instrumentation center uh, like GC, MS, um, if uh, uh, XRD, etc. All can be used.
The last one is the uh, uh, is the study and development of multi-layer and frequency selective surface for application of radar wave absorber absorption. That is actually uh, composite nanometer development uh, to give the coating onto the aircraft uh, uh, to escape the um, uh, radar eyes. Objective to develop, prepare, and characterize radar absorbing material for CX and QU frequency band with absorption of 15 dB or more to develop a technique for optimization of the thickness of various layers in multi-layer coating for for brand, uh, broadband with with a total thickness of about 2 mm to develop a methodology for optimization of various surface structure for FSS that can be used for a broad band of frequency spectrum experimental verification and the outcome uh, uh, is given in the last slide, this is the last slide, multi-layer absorbers with frequency selective surface technique has been underdeveloped for better radar wave absorption. Till now radar wave absorption of approx 20 dB for frequency range 8 to 12 gigahertz has been achieved and work as, uh, is going on to enhance these properties. The developed technique will be quite useful in defense as well as for EMI shielding. And if you need any other information, I can uh, mail it, right? Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.